Another egg. Hi, kindergarten students. This one came from my refrigerator. Do you know what kind it is? You're right, it's a chicken egg. Have you ever wondered which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, in this story, it's a big science story book. Um, they say the egg came first. This story, oh, it's cracking, is called Egg, Nature's Perfect Package. This book has a lot of information in it. I decided to move to a room that has more light in it so that you can see all these great pictures. Um, this little animal is called an echidna, and it reminds me a bit of Hedgy. Can you remember the name for animals that lay eggs or hatch from eggs? Did you say oviparous? That's awesome, you rock scientists. All right, these are egg layers. Slugs, sea urchins, and most other simple animals lay eggs. All insects, spiders, amphibians, and birds are egg layers. A few fish and reptiles give birth to live babies, but most lay eggs. And two mammals, the echidna and platypus, also lay eggs. You remember the platypus from our other book. All right, now these eggs, these are all bigger than they would be in real life, except the crow egg. That's about its normal size. What does that one look like to you? Kind of looks like an eyeball to me. Little eggs, big eggs. Some eggs are too small to see without a microscope. Others, including some laid by animals that are extinct, are enormous. Can you think of an animal that's extinct? The eggs on the next four pages are shown at actual size. All right, so let's take a look here. We've got a, a stink bug. And this one is a bee and a hummingbird and a bullfrog. And uh, oh, here's the platypus and the robin and a chicken, a king cobra. And here's an ostrich, which is one of the largest eggs of any living creature. I can't wait to show you that one back in class. Oh, an elephant bird. Whoosh. Big. And extinct. All right, now this is a kiwi. That's a kind of bird. Hey, we saw that chicken. And a giant squid. A giant squid has tiny eggs. Sometimes big animals lay big eggs, but not always. The egg of a kiwi, a bird smaller than a chicken, is thousands of times larger than a giant squid. The elephant bird, kiwi, chicken, gigantoraptor, and giant squid are pictured at the same scale as an adult human. All right, so here's what our size is, and then here's the rest of these friends way bigger than us. Wow. Where should I lay my eggs? Some animals take great pains to lay their eggs in a safe place. Why do you think they want to keep their eggs safe? Other animals aren't so careful. So not all animals are choosy when it's time to lay eggs. Like the horned starfish, it just releases their eggs. Two million of them. And then the a uh, white tern lives on islands where there are no egg-eating animals, so she can leave her eggs out of trouble. She builds a nest and balances her egg on a bare branch. Wow. With her sticky saliva, the Asian palm swift glues two or three eggs along with a few of her feathers to a dangling palm frond. We've got palm fronds here in San Diego. The black spotted sticky frog lays her eggs in a carnivorous pitcher plant. Oh, I recognize these too. The plant is filled with liquid that kills and digests most insects and small animals that tumble in, but the eggs and tadpoles of the sticky frog are immune to its effects. Wow, a mosquito puts her eggs right on the surface of the water where they will float until they hatch. How many eggs? Animals that lay just a few eggs have a lot invested in each one, so they usually take good care of them. Other creatures employ a different strategy. They produce vast quantities of eggs and pay little attention to them. Most will not survive, but there's a good chance that at least a few will hatch.
Now, when I went to the Galapagos Islands, I got to see this albatross and it lays one egg every two years. The mother and father take turns sitting on the egg for 70 to 80 days. When the spawns, when she spawns, a female blue crab may release as many as eight million eggs into the water. So here we have just one egg and here's millions of eggs. Wow, the fish tapeworm ooh, is a parasite that lives in the intestines of fish and animals that eat fish and it, it can produce millions of eggs a day for 20 years. Whoa, let's get to the turtle. A green sea turtle often swims thousands of miles to lay her eggs, returning to the same beach where she was born. She buries 100 to 200 eggs in the sand, then returns to the sea. And here's a pygmy frog. She lays two eggs at a time and she will guard them and keep them moist. Egg eaters, oh dear, what do you think these animals do? That's right, they're eating the eggs. An egg contains all the nutrition needed by the animal growing inside. It is a concentrated source of food and an important part of many predator and predatory animals' diets. Some of these animals have creative ways of getting to the food inside of an egg. All right, an ostrich egg is a prize for an egg eater, but it's a tough shell. It's not easy to crack. So the Egyptian vulture uses a tool. Look at what's in its mouth. Yep, it cracks it with a rock that it puts in its beak. So smart. Eggs are one of the favorite foods of a mongoose. When an egg is too tough to bite into, the mongoose has been known to hurl it backwards between its legs and smash it on a rock. There goes that egg-eating snake. And with its long bill, the toucan reaches into nests of other birds and steals their eggs. Egg protection. They need this. Many animals ignore their eggs as soon as they are laid. But some creatures have clever ways of keeping their eggs safe. They stand guard, camouflage their eggs, or rely on poison or trickery to give their future offspring the best chance of survival. Survival. A female emu lays her eggs, about a dozen of them, and her male partner steps in to care for them. He sits on them to keep them warm and turns them several times a day. He will not eat or drink for eight weeks. Oh my goodness, it takes them eight weeks and the dad stays. What a good dad. A mother cuttlefish places each of her eggs in its own capsule, then injects the capsule with black ink that will help keep the eggs hidden. So smart. To an ant, the cap on the end of the Goliath walking stick insect egg smells like a tasty plant seed. The egg is dropped on the ground where ants will find it and carry it, it into their nest. They eat the cap, but the egg is unharmed. When it hatches, the walking stick leaves the nest without being attacked. Awesome. I know there's more to read. This is a big read aloud book. Carrying eggs. Some animals keep their eggs safe by taking them along wherever they go. I like that idea. Here's a female weedy sea dragon. She attaches her eggs directly to the tail of her mate. He will carry them for her about nine weeks until they hatch. Ooh, let's check out this one. The black-eyed squid clutches her jelly-like egg sac with sharp hooks on her tentacles. The sac contains as many as 3,000 eggs. <gasps> she will hold on to it for months, going without food until the eggs hatch. <gasps> the male jawfish is a mouth brooder. It protects its mate's eggs by holding them in its mouth. It won't be able to eat for five to seven days. It takes the eggs to hatch. The female marsupial frog has a pouch on her back that harbors her eggs until they hatch. Her male partner helps her put the eggs into the pouch as soon as she lays them. I like that teamwork. 
incubation. That's a big word for keeping the eggs at the right temperature until they hatch. A mother platypus keeps one or two eggs warm by clutching them between her body and her tail. Um, let's see, a mother emperor penguin lays an egg and then the father rolls it into his, oh, she helps the father roll it into his feet. He keeps it warm in his pouch and a flap of feathered skin. The father will incubate the egg for two months, going without food for the entire time. Impressive. A female alligator buries her egg in a large mound of leaves and sticks where heat produced by decomposing plants incubates the eggs. Getting out of the egg. Eggs work beautifully to protect and nurture an unborn animal. Sooner or later, however, every animal has to get out of its egg. Eggs can be tough and strong, so it isn't always easy. It's also important that eggs hatch at the right time. A baby that emerges from its egg long after its brothers and sisters have hatched may find itself alone, without protection. Many creatures have evolved techniques for getting out of an egg or figuring out the best time to hatch. Here's a red-eyed tree frog. Their eggs usually take six or eight days to hatch, but if they are at least four days old, the eggs will hatch immediately if they are disturbed by a snake or other predator, and the tadpoles, the tadpoles will drop into the water to stay safe. All right, let's see. This eggs of a brine shrimp can remain dormant, not hatching, for as long as 50 years, then when the temperature and salt content of the water is just right, the eggs can hatch within hours. The kiwi egg has a tough shell. The chick uses its beak to crack the eggshell, then kicks its way out with its big feet. The corn snake has a special egg tooth, oh, I like that, an egg tooth, on its snout, which helps the snake cut its way out of the egg. The tooth will drop off a few days after the snake hatches. Let's finish with the alligator. While well, still inside their eggs, baby alligators, cheep, 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 can you do a cheep? Cheep, 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 to let their mother know they are ready to hatch and she digs the eggs out of the nest. If the babies can't get out on their own, they will gently roll the eggs in her mouth, helping to crack them open. If you liked this read aloud as much as I did, I hope you are now excited like me to keep researching these oviparous animals. In the back of the book, it lists all the oviparous animals from our story today. And there's many that I still need to learn more about. A horn shark, a jawfish, a midwife toad, a moon snail. Take a look on your own and see what kind of research you can do on an oviparous animal of your choice. I am excited to see what you find out. Way to go, learners.